First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha Hakudash, and double honors to the elders of Apostle Jim Messer, Rule Well. Salute to brothers that's pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and strength of power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Right? We are here to gather the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of you Negro, Latino, and Native American, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah by his word and prophesy the downfall of America, right? And today, oh, when you, when the brother sent me, the brother Kazak sent me a clip, right? And about how them, how them Arabs want to build a, uh, a city in, uh, where, where Moses was and, in uh, Mount Sinai, you know, how them Arabs want to build a city. But that's probably them, uh, that's probably them, uh, the, the royal family of them, of them Arab, because the royal family of them so-called, of them uh, so-called uh, Arab, which Arab mean mixture. The royal family of them, they are so-called Jews, man. They crypto Jews. In other words, in other words, when you go into the uh, history of a crypto Jew, just a brief, brief part of it, they Jewish. Right, and they they be, on the on the surface on the surface they say they believe in the Quran and all that, but behind the scenes they enter the Talmud. Okay, so the royal family, the Saudi royal family, they uh they crypto Jews, man, they Jewish, crypto Jewish, and they Edomites, man. But when you deal with the scripture, Ishmael, Ishmael is a uh, uh, Ishmael are them, are them so-called Arabs, okay? But the Saudi royal family, they are uh, crypto uh, Jews, uh, Jewish people. They, they are of the tribe of Amalekites, man. So when you go into the history of, I'm talking about the royal family, okay? Uh, the Saudi royal family, they Edomites. But the, uh, the Arabs, uh, the majority of them Arabs, they go back to Ishmael, man, okay? And they they not Edomites, and their flag is a uh, I mean, and their bird is a is a falcon. It's not an eagle, man. The Arab bird is a falcon, not an eagle, man. Okay, and it describes in the scriptures Esau, uh, his uh, his symbol uh, of a bird is an eagle, man. Okay, so we're gonna start off in Psalm, the second chapter, right? And I'm gonna let the brother go in. But yeah, that's what they're trying to do over there, build build a, a city in Mount Sinai, man. Stupid ass uh, Saudi royal family, man. All these people are stupid on the earth, man. The most likely will come back and destroy it, man. Malachi, man, wherever you, wherever you eat a mice set, you're gonna get judged, man. Whatever you're doing, man. Okay? Malachi, the first chapter, called you the border of wickedness, man. So wherever, wherever you at, man, the most high gonna, he gonna get you, man. It ain't, it ain't no change of nothing. They gonna get you. So we gonna start off in, uh, like I said, Psalms the, uh, uh, the second chapter. We are gonna start from the top. All right. This is uh, this is Psalms chapter two, verse one. Okay. Why do the heathens rage and the people imagine vain things? Question. Verse two. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cord cords from us. I start from at the top again. This is Psalms chapter 2 verse 1. Why do the heathens rage? Yeah why you eat them my why you eat them my angry that the nation of Israel is being set back up. The Most High promised it that we was going to rule the earth, okay? The scripture tell you in uh, Romans 11 chapter, the Most High have not cast off his people, man. In other words, he haven't rejected his people, man, okay? The promise is still staying, man. So why do you heathens rage and imagine a vain thing as if the Most High is dealing with y'all and not the children of Israel, man? The children of Israel is going to be raised back up 
and you imagine a vain thing as if you can overthrow the promises and the covenant that he gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for us to rule forever, man. Okay? You imagine a vain thing and you mad. We can see that you anger and you mad at us for, uh, uh, for waking up to this truth, man. You Edomites is losing your mind and you losing sleep because the Israelites are waking up. We're showing the Ezekiel, the, uh, what is it, 37th chapter. Okay? The dry bones is waking up, man. Okay? Oh, go ahead, bro. And the people imagine a vain thing. They imagine a vain thing, man. It's vain to think that the Heavenly Father and His Son is not going to fulfill the promises that He gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. It's a vain thing, man. Go ahead. Verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, they ready to make war against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. They going into space. They going up on the water, man. They digging into the ground. They all making, I mean, they just doing all sorts of things to prepare to make war against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? To make war against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures plainly tell you that Israel going to rule forever and Yahweh Shai is coming back to destroy Esau, man. You know? They tell you in 2 Ezra, Esau, uh, Esau is the uh, end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. I tell you that in 2 Ezra, the sixth chapter, man. So you imagine the vain thing thinking that you're going to overthrow the promises of Yahweh Shai and make war and defeat Yahweh Shai, man. You're stupid. You know, the Heavenly Father and His Son got you, you, you so-called white people, you Edomites in the trick bag. Okay? Go ahead, bro. And against His anointing saying, let us break their bands asunder. Yeah, let us break their bands asunder, man. That's what they saying, man. As if they can make war with Yahweh Shem Shai and win, man. Okay? You Edomites are going into slavery like you're supposed to go into slavery. Point blank period. That's why you that's why you're dying off. The way you're dying off, you weak, man. That's why you committing suicide the way you committing suicide. Okay? That's why y'all divided now. Your empire is falling, man. And that's why these these nations that used to be scared of you, okay, you Edomites and your military might, now they got the power too. They got they got weaponry to fight against you, man. They got nuclear warheads too, man. So you people are stupid, man. You eat them are just stupid. Okay? Go ahead. And cast away their cords from us. Go ahead. Verse 4. Okay. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Shall laugh at you for trying to make war against him. And trying to, and trying to defeat what he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He going to laugh at you, man. You people are vain. You eat them are vain, man. And then you climb it up in space. You know what I'm saying? You got you, you climb it up in space thinking you go uh, uh, live in space and go to and go to Mars, man. Stupid. Man, I was watching that on uh, uh on Netflix, Mars. Man, they thinking they going they thinking they gonna go to Mars, man. They thinking they gonna get past them Van Allen belts, man. With stretch. They ain't even got the they ain't even got the equipment, man, to, to get past that radiation, man. It ain't number the Van Allen belts ain't number radiation, man. They think they're gonna get past it and go to Mars and live on Mars, man. <laughs> Stupid, man. Think they're gonna make war with y'all by Shimon and Shai and win, man. It's prophecy, man, that Israel gonna rule forever and you Edomites are going into slavery, man, and you having a fit, man. You're angry. You know, you're angry that Israel is waking up to the truth, man. Go ahead, bro. You have something to say? Yeah, yeah just real quick. Uh, on that last uh, Trump speech, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he acknowledged uh, Buzz uh, Aldrin, the, the guy who went into space. He acknowledged him, Trump did. And, 
the look on his face, he knew he was guilty if you, if you look at that uh, video. One that went into space. If you look at that video, he was looking guilty. Like he knew all this was a lie. As if they, but as if they landed on them. out and say it, you know. As if they landed on the moon, man. Yeah. So How you gonna land on a light bulb? And then all you gotta do, and then and then all you gotta do is uh, type in uh, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon if it's still up there. And they tell you, man, they ain't never. It's all. They was in the studio creating all that. They've been exposed so many years ago, man. But the American people are so stupid, they don't research nothing. You know? They don't research nothing. They, they just go with whatever uh, the people uh, that's in power, whatever they say, man. They just believe it, man. You know, they just believe in it, man. They just the stupidity of the American people, man. But it's our programming. He's all got to set up, you know what I'm saying? He's programmed to believe everything that he's saying, you know, not knowing that he's a devil that the Bible speaks of. So it's a vain thing to think that you're going to uh, rule forever and not the children of Israel. It's a vain thing that you think that you're going to go to war with Yahweh Shema with Shai and win to where you think you're going to rule forever, man. The promises wasn't given to you. You Edomites, you so-called white people, man. Okay? The promises wasn't given to you. You put that term white on you in, in 1681, man. You're not white, you're not Caucasian, you're not European, you're not none of that, man. You're Edomites. That's your biblical nationality. You so-called white people. Okay? And it's a vain thing to think that you're gonna upset the prophecies, okay, to where you're not gonna go in slavery and fulfill prophecy by serving Israel as a nation of people for a thousand a year. And then you think we supposed to, you think we supposed to love you. Nah, that ain't in the scriptures, man. You broke the brotherly covenant a long time ago, man. And it's in the scriptures that you broke the brotherly covenant, okay? Matter of fact, because, Zach, you give me Amos 1 and 9. And to prove you broke the brotherly covenant, man. It's over with for you Edomites, man. We ain't, hey, we ain't got no love for no Edomite, man. Now, you got some, you got some of uh, the Israelites uh, look like you uh, so-called white people, but they Israelites, man. And if they are of the elect, they're going to come back, man. And then on top of that, when you reading the scriptures, man, when Yahweh Shah was on the scene and... A uh, Israelite had leprosy. They got he got uh, they got cleansed from that from that leprosy, and they got their pigment back. So the the Israelites that look like you you uh uh you you Edomite, they're gonna get their pigment back in the kingdom, man. You know? Yeah. Speak up, Ox, so they can hear you. Uh, for an example, uh, Canelo Alvarez, you know the uh, Issachar, right? Boxer, I mean, you look at him and he looks like an Edomite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just for example. Yeah, but he's from the tribe of, he's from the tribe of uh, Issachar, man. You see? That's just the example, man. But see, a lot of a lot of uh, people in the YouTube world, they don't, they not able to uh, grasp their understanding and they not spiritual, man. You got a lot of people that's out there that's uh, uh, shallow and don't understand how Israel have mingled himself amongst the people, man. Okay? The scripture tell you, uh, the scripture tell you that Ephraim is a cake not turned, man. And when they mention Ephraim, because Ephraim is a, a head of the northern kingdom, okay? You had the southern kingdom and you had the northern kingdom. The hat got split up. Okay, and Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom. And when you go into that prophecy, Ephraim is a cake not turned. Ephraim and the rest of the tribe mingle themselves among them Spaniards, man, and all other nations. And then on top of that, since we since we in 2019, Jake, uh, Jake, meaning all the tribe, short for Jacob, have mingled themselves among all the nations. So Jake gone. 
when I say, when I mean by mingling themselves among the nations, having sex with the other nations' uh, uh, women, you know what I'm saying? Having sex with the other nations' women and having children with them, man. And their children come out looking like the other nations, man. It's hard for people to grasp that. And then I see comments on the comment board, and they'll say, well, how, uh, how is the so-called North American Indians part of the tribe of Israel? All that information out there. All you got to do is do some research, man. Jake is lazy, man. Either that's a scoffer, you know what I'm saying? Or, or and they call it, and then you got Jake, they call themselves being sincere. Hey, man, all you got to do is research, man. It's countless of breakdowns on the web, man. It's countless of uh, 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 information on the web to show you, man, that jet, uh, 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 the so-called North American Indians are of the tribe of Gad, man. There's so much information on it. All you got to do is do a research, man, and be and, and search it out, man. Jake is lazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake is lazy, man. And they on the they spirited. They got a, a low level spirit on them, man. You know? So read what you got in the name of. This, one and nine. this is Amos 1 and 9. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushah for three transgressions of Tyrus and for four I would not turn away the punishment thereof. Right, Tyrus is the Canaanites. Okay, go ahead. Because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. So they delivered up the whole captivity of Edom. So when you go in, you when you go into the uh, history of of uh, Tyrus, they was uh, seafarers, okay. And what it was was Israel was doing deals with them uh, Canaanites, okay. For you to understand the day, it, they were doing deal with them Africans. And what it was was uh, they start getting in tour with them Africans, and them Africans. Uh, Overtook them and had them in and had them uh, captive, and they were selling their captives to, to Esau, and Esau was putting them in slavery. Okay, so that's what was going on when you go into the history, when you go into that prophecy. Go ahead. And remembered not the brotherly covenant. So Esau remembered not the brotherly covenant, right? So Esau uh, had Israelites in slavery. So, for us to not be brotherly with you Edomites, all right, you broke the brotherly covenant a long time ago, man. Point blank period, man. It's right there in the scriptures, man. You broke it a long time ago, so you looking for mercy. It ain't coming, man. It ain't coming, man. And even in the Zandif and Compact Bible Dictionary, which these scholars, these Edomite scholars put together, even they know what you, what you low-level Edomites don't want to read and search out nothing and think you're on the level. These uh, uh, Edomite scholars put this book together and it shows you in this book that ain't no mercy coming to Esau, man. So you broke the brotherly covenant a long time ago, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to read it. Pay to stop sticking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to read it. You broke it a long time ago. It says, uh, no, this on page 140. This on page 142. This is dealing with Edom. Edomites, you so-called white people. Okay? It says, Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures at the scene of great future judgment. See notably Isaiah 34 and 5 and verse 6. See Isaiah 61 and 1. She is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from God, meaning Yahweh. In the word there, 
we put Yahweh there. We know his true name. And that's, that's his name in the Hebrew. So here it is, right here. We see scholars put together, right, in this Zandavan Compact Bible Dictionary, and they know that there's no mercy for you either, Mike. So read that in uh, Amos 1 and 9 again. I, okay, this is Amos 1 and 9. Thus said Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, for three transgressions of Tyrus and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. Yeah, Edom had us in slavery, man. You so-called white people, man. And you got us in slavery today. You had us in hardcore bondage and you got us in slavery by contracts. So that's that, man. I ain't, it's over for the, for the uh, brotherly love and the brotherly covenant, man. You broke it a long time ago, man. You broke it a long time ago, man. It's a wrap for you Edomites, man. And that's why it's saying what it's saying that Zion in the Compact Bible Dictionary because them Edomite scholars, so-called scholars, already searched it out. And that's why they run from them being Edom, man. Because they know, the higher-ups know who they are, man. They know they descendants from Esau, man. Okay. Even, 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 uh, even, uh, uh, even, even some of the scholars, so-called scholars that have searched our history, know that the Edomites was uh, uh, was uh, the Roman Empire, man. They know, man. But, but all you got to do is do a Google search and search it out, and it'll tell you, man. But you come to find out, man, you search that web and you look at these comments, man, you come to find out a lot of these people are not learned at all, man. They ain't on no level at all, man. So read that again for me, y'all. Okay, uh, this is Amos 1 and 9. Thus said Yehalabah Shem Yahushah, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom and remembered not the bre brotherly covenant. And Edom remembered not the brotherly covenant, man. Continue on. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the places thereof. Continue on. Thus said Yahweh Shem Yahushah, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword. He did pursue his brother with the sword. So he broke the brotherly covenant. And what are you doing today, Esau? You ain't changed. You still doing it. You still doing it. You still pursuing Jacob with the sword, which is your blessing, man. Jacob will not have no peace as long as you Edomites are ruling, man, in the earth, man. Okay? Because you're so proud and you didn't got so comfortable with what you're doing to Jake and the most I haven't judged your ass for doing that shit. As long as Jake is up under you, man, Jake gonna continue to get slaughtered, man. So, hey, you broke the brotherly covenant, man. You pursued us with the sword back then, and you pursuing it with the sword right now, man. So to think that uh, uh, you gonna rule forever is vain, man. That's why the Most High is gonna laugh at you when it's time for your kingdom to completely fall, man. That's why he gonna laugh at you, man. Read that again for me. Verse 11. Okay. Amos 1 and 11. Thus said Yahweh Ba Shem Shah, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because 
he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity. Did, did cast off all pity, man. No mercy. No mercy came to us, man. No mercy came to the Negro Latinos and the Native Americans, man. Not at all, man. And here, and here you are doing the same thing you was doing back then, right? Today, and you trying to stop, you start, you trying to stop the temple from being built. Okay? You trying to stop the third temple from being built. Because the men that you see out here teaching, start from the elder GMS on down, that's the temple being rebuilt, man. Okay? It ain't what them so-called Jews over there talking about. They got to get a heifer and sacrifice it. That ain't got, they ain't got, nah, that ain't what it is, man. They got to get a red heifer and sacrifice it. Nah, the temple is being built right now, man. Them so-called, them so-called Jews, man, and them so, and them, and them, and them, and them rabbis, man, they off, man. Them so-called rabbis, they off, man. They not the real children of the, of the heavenly father and his son, man. They pastors, man. Okay? The third temple is being built right now, man. It's a people, man. All you got to do is read uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. They tell you we the building. Stupid. You cast off all pity, man. And here it is. You trying to stop the temple from being built now. You trying to stop the Israelites from being raised up. It ain't gonna work, man. That's why the Most High gonna, man, he gonna destroy you. You know? He's going to destroy you, man. Don't finish that off, Father. Okay. His brother, he did pursue his brother with the sword. Mm -hmm and did cast off all pity mm -hmm. and his anger did tear perpetually mm -hmm. and he kept his wrath forever kept his wrath forever man you edomites ain't changed man you edomites ain't changed man it go all hey man it's so deep that it go all the way back to where uh when jacob and esau was in the womb man you kept that hatred, man. It go all the way back before you even, before you even uh, uh, drew breath, you know, and came into the world, man. It go all the way back to where you was in uh, uh, Rebecca womb, man. Go all the way back, man. So that hatred, that hatred, that Esau got for the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man, is, is long and it's deep, man. You know? So you broke the brotherly covenant, man. Ain't no love for you, man. It's, you out of there. So you sit and whine and say, uh, you are you are a brother. You supposed to love us. Nah, you left a long time ago, man. You left a long, that brotherly love left a long time ago, man. Long time ago. Okay?